guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Batel from Batel's Kitchen. And today I am so happy to be sharing with you one of my favorite soup recipes on the planet. I'm gonna be making my mom's famous split pea soup in a pressure cooker, one of the most amazing nourishing meals to serve. And I actually love eating soups all year round, even in the most hot summer days in Florida, I still make soups for my family. One of the reasons I love serving soups, even during the hot summer days, is because it offers a tremendous amount of health benefits and it is loaded in iron and plant-based protein, a meal that is really, really easy to serve even for the little ones. My kids absolutely love soups and that is why I offer soups many days of the year. If you're new over here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post a new recipe every single week and all the measurements for this recipe are going to be in the description box below so you can check it out. Okay guys, let's get started. We are going to start this delicious soup by taking care of our vegetables first. So we're going to peel some carrots and then cut them in half and dice them into medium small cubes. Then we're going to do the same with our onion. We're going to peel it and chop it finely. Moving on to our celery, we're going to cut the ribs, but also we're going to cut the leaves as well. They give a tremendous amount of flavor to the soup. And then this is completely optional, but I like to add a little bit of red bell pepper to my soup as well. Once we have all these vegetables ready, waiting for us on a plate, we can then move on and take care of our peas. So these peas were soaked in water overnight or just for a couple of hours, which is extremely recommended to help the cooking process and also the digestion. We're going to transfer it to a colander and wash it under running water until there is no foam and the water is nice and clear. Then to my pressure cooker, I'm adding a little bit of grapeseed oil, but I want to be honest and say that my mom does not add any oil at all and she does not saute the vegetables. So I'm giving you a take of my version of my mom's soup. I like to give the soup a little bit more depth of flavor by sauteing them just for a couple of minutes. We're gonna add a tiny bit of salt in order to help the vegetable saute faster. And once we have them translucent, we are ready to add our peas. We're gonna give it a quick mix and then we're gonna add our seasonings. We're gonna do a little bit of turmeric, some black pepper and salt. I like to open the spices with the oil just for a few seconds. And then we're gonna add our water. Because we're using a pressure cooker, it is extremely important to be cautious and not to overcrowd the pot and add too much liquids. And then we're going to close it and bring it to a boil and then the pressure cooking starts. Once the soup has cooked for about 30 minutes, we're going to give it a mix. We're going to taste test to make sure there are no seasonings missing and then we're ready to plate. I like to add a little bit of olive oil to 
enrich the soup. And then a little bit of fresh herbs, which are optional. And then I like to add a little bit of my homemade crouton as well. These are so delicious and I use my leftover challah or rustic bread to make them. My kids are obsessed with them. And here you have it. This soup is so hearty. I like to add a little bit of black pepper as well on top. But this soup makes the most amazing dinner with some bread on the side and everyone is so happy. It has so much nutrients. It is loaded with plant-based protein. It is extremely kid friendly. My babies love it so, so much. I cannot get enough. I hope you guys are going to give this soup a try. Thanks for watching. That's it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're going to give this recipe a try. If you did, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And if you need some more help with eating more plant-based, check out my cookbook, Eggless Possibilities, where you can find so many meals that the whole family can enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.